Do you want to change the color of an object but have absolutely no idea of how to do it? Don't worry, in today's video I'll be showing you how to change the color of an object. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see we have a shape right here and it has a yellow color. And let's say we want to change this, you can do that in multiple ways and I will show you a few easy ways of doing this. Before you can change a specific color of an object, you want to first select it. So just go up in the toolbar and choose the selection tool. The keyboard shortcut for that is V. Let's just press on the object or shape. And as you can see, the object is now active. And in the toolbar, you have these two squares right here. And that is actually one way you can change the color. So if you press on this yellow right here, you will get this color picker menu will pop up. You can just change it to any color you would like. Let's change this to red. Just like this. And when you have found the color you would like to change, you just have to press OK. And the color is now changed. There's also different panels you can use to do this. If we try to select the shape again, we can actually get this panel named color. If you haven't this already, you can go up in window and choose color. The keyboard shortcut for that is F6. And from here you can just press on any color and it will be changed immediately. This is a great way to just select a color fast. Another thing you can do is to open the swatches panel. This you can find in windows. And if you go down to swatches right here, you can just check this on and this menu will pop up. In here there's the same two squares where you can just press on this and you can select a specific color. Illustrator also have some specific colors you can choose from and you can just select any one you would like. So that is how you change the color of an object in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and comment down below what video we should do next time. That was all for now. See you in the next one.